Using the new project window, you are able to create a new project. It can be a project from the scratch, meaning starting from empty uh, templates or drawings, or even can be a project using another project as a template. We are going to cover that. So first thing to do is to give the project a name. I'm going to call it my project. And remember to avoid using numbers as the first characters of the project name uh, or non-traditional meaning letters or numbers uh, as part of the name. If you use, for example, non-Western characters, you may have some wish, some issues. So my suggestion is to keep the project name as, as simple as possible using just letters and, and numbers. And again, do not use numbers as uh, first character of the project name. The device. In the device, you can select the, the main targeting device for your uh, project. You can use a direct device, like for example, the iPad or the Kindle Fire, or you can just say uh, Universal or New Universal when you are planning to use the same project in different platforms or device. You just need to remember that when you select a Universal project, you're going to have more images, meaning more space is going to be needed on your device to hold all the images created because Quick will create a larger image for a larger device and a smaller image for a small device, for example. So each layer on your project will have at least two images in different size to handle different uh, screen size. The orientation sets your project to portrait or landscape. The project template, you can now uh, select uh, all the project. For example, just click in the browse window and you can just point to one of the previous projects that you may have, for example, Afraid. And when you do so, Quick will automatically copy all the content of the previous project, respecting now the new name as well as the new device. Meaning, for example, if you create a project for the iPad in the past and now we are using the same project for a Kindle device, you will see the same content, but now in a different canvas view respect the size of the, the, the device that you select here. And also you have this added project properties upon creation, meaning that if you enable this, as soon as you create the project, Quick will open the project window, uh, the project properties window for you. Something that most people should do, but they simply forget uh, to, do, uh, to do that. So let's create a new project just for you to, to understand why uh, you are mentioned. I'm going to select the Kindle for here and I'm going to use the Afraid project which was originally created by uh, for the, the iPad. So when I and of course you have the cancel if you decide not to do this, the create to create or the help which will point you to this page that you are seeing right now. So let's create it. Uh, quick will remi remind you that some folders cannot be copied in a new project because they will be created when you create your the, the new when you publish the project here. So, for example, the backups and the build folder from the afraid is not copied because again this is a new project and we will need a new build folder. Because we enable the project properties, it's appearing for you, for us. So we can, for example, from here define the scale. We are going to cover this in a new video, or the icons and things like that. But we don't need this. As if you can see here, quick. Although this project was originally created for the iPad, now you see exactly the size of the Kindle Fire. And so from here, you can reposition all your images if if you need to change things from from the side. So you are able now to, to do whatever you want in a much faster way than doing it manually. 